As we continue our adventure with Aptera, we would like to extend a warm greeting to you. The firm is focused on developing one of the most advanced electric vehicles that will be available during our era. Therefore, this time around, we plan to investigate the prospective electric vehicle brand's technological capabilities, including its wheel power, auto cycle, and efficiency of operation. It's time to get started. Motorcycles have a natural tendency to be unsteady, as a result of the fact that they are likely to topple over if they are stopped. Comparing them to vehicles with three wheels is an example of something that does not compute very well. Nevertheless, you are absolutely accurate in stating that the roadway is divided into three broad paths. The two paths that are utilized by the majority of four-wheeled vehicles at the middle of the road, which is utilized exclusively by three-wheelers. If you were operating a Polaris slingshot, you could have more valid concerns. This is because the powertrain design of the Polaris slingshot is similar to that of the motorbike with a chain-driven rear wheel. However, the Aptera, which is equipped with all-wheel electric drive, possesses more advanced anti-slip and stability features. To put it another way, the only control vector that is involved is steering, because the slingshot is not a front-wheel drive vehicle. In order to maintain its stability, the front-drive Aptera only has the back wheel following, which means that skidding on the so-called slippery center only happens when the vehicle is coming to a sudden stop. In the event that this occurs, the stability control system that is implemented over the independently powered front wheels, in addition to the 65-35% front slash rear bias, will ensure that any slippage is kept under control. According to my understanding, the electronic controls will limit wheel spin when the vehicle is accelerating, and the stability control system at the rear will have a wider range of responses to maintain traction. This is because the all-wheel drive system will be enabled. Taking your four-wheel vehicle and driving it on the shoulder lip or keeping your left front in the center lane is one way to get a sense of what it is like to experience the actual sensation. Unless there are alert elements, such as reflective buttons or ribbed asphalt, that tell you that you are too close to the side of the lane, on a two-lane road, you will become aware that even with the debris left behind by internal combustion engine vehicles, you are probably safe unless you are making a hairpin turn at 45 miles per hour. The bottom truth is that you might experience some fishtailing when you accelerate quickly in the rain when driving a slingshot, but you would be hard pressed to see a difference between a four wheeled car and an Aptera when there is either two wheel drive or three wheel drive capability. Even if the situation turns out to be different than I had anticipated, I believe that this would be a matter of adjusting the power application on the computer. This solar-powered electric automobile from Aptera has the potential to succeed where others have failed, at a time when motorcycles are once again becoming fashionable. Failure is always just around the corner in the world of startups, which is a world that is constantly going up and down. At the time of its introduction in 2006, the solar electric car startup Aptera appeared to be in this position. Nevertheless, the company met with a roadblock in 2011. Despite this, the firm did not lose up, as evidenced by a single page that was taken out of Galaxy Quest. It was a relaunch in the year 2020 that set the wheels in motion once more, and now the long-awaited, futuristic, solar-powered, three-wheeled electric car is almost ready to hit the road. To clarify, I'm referring to a solar-powered bicycle. Is an autocycle a motorcycle? Excellent question. There are several three-wheelers that are classified as motorcycles by the United States Department of Transportation if they feature a saddle-type seat and handlebar steering. But an autocycle is not considered to be a motorcycle. In addition to having three wheels, an autocycle also has a seat that faces forward and a steering wheel. This is a distinguishing characteristic of an autocycle. Within the framework of the zero-emission mobility narrative, three-wheeled electric cars made their initial appearance in the 1880s. These vehicles typically included a front-facing seat and handlebar steering, among other configurations. That would have caused the Department of Transportation to get perplexed if it had been in existence at the time. Despite the fact that the electric component of the early autocycle equation did not survive once gasmobiles became the primary mode of transportation, the three-wheeled layout 
continued to be quite prevalent for passenger cars and small utility vehicles until the middle of the 20th century, after which interest in the mode of transportation began to decline. Before we go any further, however, if you are enjoying this content, we would appreciate it if you would kindly support this channel by liking it and clicking on the subscribe button that is located below. This will allow YouTube to learn about your preferences and enable you to receive new video updates as they are added to this channel. I am grateful to you. Permit us to proceed. In recent years, there has been a resurgence of interest in hot rods among lovers of motorcycles, with the Polaris slingshot serving as an example within this category. Another illustration of this is the retro design of the Venice GTS, which was manufactured by the company van der Hoel Motor Works. It would appear that the concept is also gaining traction among traditional automobile manufacturers. During the fall of 2017, Yamaha presented a concept motorcycle known as a Trissar. This motorcycle appears to be based on a character from the most recent installment of the Transformers franchise. To put all of this into perspective, the Aptera three-wheeler appears to be a trippy earthbound space spacecraft in comparison to a regular electric car. However, it does fit neatly into the aesthetic of the autocycle, which is becoming increasingly popular. Aptera is attempting to achieve the best of both worlds by diversifying its customer base in comparison to other manufacturers of motorcycles. The company's objective is to attract drivers who are looking for an electric vehicle that is not only fashionable, but also practical, so that they can use it for commuting and running errands during the week, and then show it off on the weekends. When people hear the name Aptera, one of the first things that comes to their minds is that it does not have sufficient space. The business notes that despite the fact that the Aptera is only a two-seater, it boasts 60% more storage space than a Honda Accord and 20% more storage space than a Prius. Aptera has the room for a pretty decent-sized grocery trip. They continue, continuing to tick off a list of outdoor adventure gear that can fit into the car. With 25 cubic feet of cargo space, Aptera has the room for a pretty decent-sized grocery trip. Aptera is also aiming to attract drivers who are not interested in purchasing a vehicle that is similar to a normal automobile. What would be the next greatest thing would be motorcycles with three wheels, which are likewise becoming more and more popular. On the other hand, in addition to their standard driver's license, they would be required to obtain a motorcycle insurance policy. According to Aptera, the vast majority of states do not require a helmet, and the majority of them only require that you have a regular driver's license. In order to gain clarity, you can examine the laws in your area. They continue by saying, in addition, the fact that Aptera is classified as an auto cycle comes with a few potential benefits, such as full-time access to the HOV lane, less expensive auto insurance, and other advantages. Despite the fact that the United States Department of Transportation, DOT, does not currently have a precise categorization for motorcycles, our friends at Motortrend have observed that the designation autocycle is used for registration reasons in every state in the United States, with the exception of Massachusetts. That being said, would this electric car fly, or even better, still produce the outcomes that were anticipated? One of the most important questions is whether or not Aptera will be able to fulfill its promise. The first iteration of the company appears to have become entangled in the pursuit of a significant program run by the United States Department of Energy with the intention of accelerating the production of electric vehicles in the United States. As a result, they changed their strategy in the middle of the process and developed a four-wheeled electric car in order to submit an application for funding. But they were unsuccessful in their endeavor. Along with the resurgence of interest in three-wheeled mobility, the support for this mode of transportation has also increased. To this point, the majority of that has been contributed by individual lovers of electric cars, each of whom contributed $10,000 to the firm in order to crowdfund it. The competitive crowdfunding round known as the Accelerator Program was introduced by Aptera in January of 2023, which significantly increased the amount of money available to the company. By the end of that month, the local CBS affiliate in Carlsbad, California, which is Aptera's hometown, announced that the effort had raised more than $120 million and among 16,000 investors, 
with orders for 46,000 automobiles being placed. For additional coverage, please refer to the Atterra archive on Clean Technica's website. It would appear that the California Energy Commission has taken notice of that specific matter. A grant in the amount of $21 million was awarded by the government in March of last year in order to assist the company in expanding its production line in Europe and bringing it to the United States. It would be appropriate to point out at this juncture that the aerodynamic styling of Aptera is not merely there to attract attention. The body of the vehicle is outfitted with as many solar panels as it is possible to accommodate, with the intention of generating as much of the vehicle's electricity as possible through the use of freely collected solar energy. According to the business, Aptera is a two-seater, ultra-efficient solar electric vehicle that utilizes embedded solar panel power for up to 40 miles of grid-free daily driving. Additionally, the vehicle has the capacity for plug-in charging at a range of up to 1,000 miles. In addition to the aerodynamics, the business cites the following components as being among the most important features. Stronger materials, less weight, fewer parts, ease of assembly, and in-wheel motors. There is a need to wait for it. Aptera has not been the subject of Clean Technica's attention since March of this year. However, Green Car Reports checked in with the company in the fall of this year and reported that Aptera seems as close as it's ever been to actually delivering vehicles to customers. This was due to the fact that Aptera had reached a significant milestone in relation to the production of the carbon fibre shell of the electric car. The most recent development is that on February 2nd, Aptera made the announcement that it had successfully raised more than $33 million through the Accelerator program. This brings the total amount of crowdfunding that has been raised over the past two years to more than $100 million. The current injection of $33 million will go toward pushing the time frame into the pre-production phase, which will enable the steps of vehicle testing and certification to continue forward. This is assuming that everything goes according to plan. According to the explanation provided by the firm, after Aptera's production intent vehicles have been validated, the final step is to raise capital for the sourcing of tooling and equipment for high volume production. This is anticipated to need 10 times less capital than traditional manufacturers. In spite of the fact that they make it appear simple, the devil is, of course, in the details. An additional intriguing venture for solar enabled electric cars, the Scion, appeared to have a lot of potential but experienced a setback in the previous year. Not only is it difficult to market three-wheeled electric cars to the driving public in the United States, but solar power is also a challenge. The electric vehicle EV manufacturer Arsimoto, for instance, appeared to be increasing production of its distinctive autocycles during the winter of the previous year, but by the July the automaker was reducing production. At to for its part, appears to be resolute in its determination to never give up or surrender until the realization of the goal of a solar-powered electric vehicle actually occurs. Time is the only thing that can tell. This is the point at which we will conclude this briefing for the time being. We appreciate you watching. When the next video is uploaded, we hope that you will be able to join us.